Hey everyone, it's Tracy of Move Daily Fitness. If you have been with us for our whole workout and wellness week, let me tell you one thing, you deserve this stretching workout today. Hey, if you're new, if you're just falling upon us and you found this stretching video, well, welcome here. What I'm talking about is our whole wellness and workout week. There's the playlist right at the top of the screen there. So go ahead and check out all the workouts that we did this week, plus our wellness tips to make you a healthier and whole person. But today, we're gonna take it down to the mat. We're gonna stretch things out, really spend a little bit of time lengthening our muscles that have been contracted so much this last week. So grab your yoga mat, that's all you're gonna need, and let's get started. Let's just start in this position right here, okay? I want you to gently tilt your neck to one side, just lengthening through those extensor muscles there, nice and slowly, one side at a time here. All right, slowly to the center. You're gonna bring your chin to your chest. And just relaxing in the shoulders there. Keep them nice and low, away from the ears. All right, let's go to the other side. Ear to, ear to shoulder there. And just very gently hold it there. Now we're gonna do this one more time. If you want to add a little additional pressure, Okay, switch sides back here. You can go ahead and place your hand on top of your head and just gently pull, but really, really gently, okay? You don't wanna strain through those neck muscles there. Deep breath in through the nose, slow exhale. And let's drop our chin to our chest here. Another deep breath in through the nose, out through the mouth. And tilt your neck to the far side again. Again, add a little bit of pressure there if you'd like. Good, and relax. Let's place our hands behind us, okay? One each side, and you're gonna stretch through the chest, so go ahead and lift your chest up towards the ceiling there, okay? And I want you to just kind of walk your butt cheeks out, away from you, so you increase that stretch, right like that, good. Hold that there. Now slowly bring the chin up to the ceiling, stretching a little bit through the neck there, and pushing the chest up towards the ceiling as well. Now drop the chin back down to the chest. Keep your chest up though. And relax. All right, stay in this seated position. You're gonna reach across the body right here, just stretching in through the back. Okay, if you have the, the side of your mat, you can go ahead and hold onto that and increase the stretch by pulling yourself down. Otherwise, just hold that there, deep breath in through the nose, and slow exhale. Good, walk your hands both, stay down here, but walk them to the center. Just as low as you can go here and hold that stretch, extend both arms out in front of you. And again, you can walk your hands as far away from you as possible. Just stretching in through those lats, into the lower back a bit. We're aiming to hold each stretch for about 15 seconds. All right, and slowly round up through the back. Now we're gonna to go to the opposite side here. So reach across. And again, walk the hands out if you want to, if you can, just to increase that stretch a bit. You take a deep breath in through the nose, and as you exhale, go deeper into the stretch if you can. Good, come to seated again. All right, let's take that opposite hand, one hand is behind you. We're gonna reach up and over, stretching again through the lats, through the back shoulder, and through your torso. Just hold this here. Go ahead and give your wrist a little roll there too, if you'd like. Okay, we'll go both directions. And switch directions here. Swing to the other side, big stretch over. 
Let's pay some attention to our breath here. So you're gonna inhale through the nose like you're smelling the roses. Exhale slow as you're blowing out the candles. That breath rhythm should be at least seven seconds long. Seven seconds inhale, seven seconds outhale, exhale rather. Good, and come to seated again. Let's put the hands back behind the back again. Walk your butt forward and increase that stretch into the chest, bring the chest up to the ceiling and head is back. Deep breath in. Slow exhale and drop the chin to the chest. Push the chest up to the ceiling. Deep breath in. And slow exhale. All right, walk up to seated position again. You're gonna take your right hand, place it on your left leg, and the other hand is gonna go behind you. I want you to do a little torso turn here. Now you're just gonna turn as much as it feels comfortable. Hold that there, relax the shoulders. Okay, you can put tension on that left leg and increase the stretch for here. You're gonna feel one side is probably tighter than the other. This is my good side here. It's always interesting to see how far of a rotation you can actually get here. All right, slowly let's turn to the other side. Left hand on right leg and turning. Yeah, that is tight for me. Just hold that there. Remember to breathe in through the nose and slow exhale. Good. We're just gonna do a little arms back, thumbs down here. And one clasp your hands in front, round through the back. Good. Now drop the hands toward the ground. You'll feel this in the upper scapula area. Exhale here. Now take a deep breath in. Lift your arms above your head. Push your palms to the ceiling and stretch right there. Let's do that one more time. Drop the hands. Around through the back, right here. Really try to separate those shoulder blades without shrugging. Exhale here, and inhale, bring your arms above your head. Push the palms toward the ceiling, push the chest out. Good. All right, let's move into our legs. We're gonna move into a pigeon pose here. So go ahead and get up onto all fours into downward dog. You're gonna bring that leg forward. Other leg is extended out behind you. Okay, so your glute is the focus here and you're gonna lean down right here and stretch forward. Now, this stretch can be done as well if that is hard on your knee. And this knee is gonna be 90 degrees, this at 90 degrees and you can just lean forward right here without tucking that foot right under, okay? Otherwise, you're full pigeon here and holding it there. If you're comfortable with this, you can reach your arms out in front and try to push your chest toward the ground as well. Deep breath in through the nose. Get lots of good air and slowly exhale. I want you to come up into a seated position here, or sorry, a upright position. And we're gonna stretch the hip flexor on that right leg there, so nice and tall. Okay, just lengthening through that hip flexor. Only go as high as that feels comfortable. It should be just gently stretching, not pulling. And that's about as high as I can go right there. Really feel that on the inside of my groin a little bit. So good to hold that for a few seconds here. All right, go ahead back into downward dog. You're gonna switch the other leg. So bring your right leg forward. Okay, left leg is extended straight behind you. And let's go on to our elbows here. 
Remember, if you're comfortable with this, walk your hands out, push your chest toward the ground, and hold that there. All right, let's use our hands to walk up into an upright position here. And now again, you're focusing on that hip flexor. So hold that as high as you can. Deep breath in through the nose, slow exhale. Good, and come out of that. All right, let's flip onto our back here. One leg is bent. Let's take our right leg. You're gonna flex that foot, grab your hand behind the leg, keep the knee soft, don't lock out the knee, and gently pull that leg towards you, okay? I'm gonna flex my foot, pushing my heel towards the ceiling, and pull that nicely towards myself as best I can, as far as I can without feeling the strain, but just a nice lengthening in that hamstring. If you did our workouts this week, that should be sore from a number of things. Our German volume training, we did 10 rounds of 10 deadlifts. My hamstrings were definitely sore from that. You're gonna take that leg, keeping it straight, and let's let it fall right across the body, okay, nice and slowly. And now I want you to open up your chest and stay flat with your back flat on the ground. Really try to keep if you're using your right leg across, keep that right shoulder down towards the ground. Okay? It's hard to get a deep breath in when your diaphragm is twisted like this, but continue to focus on the breath. Good. Just a few more seconds here. All right, let that leg sweep down and around, and let's switch sides here. Right knee is bent, let's grab the back of our left leg. Again, flexing the heel towards the ceiling. Knee is soft, but pull it gently towards you. Push your heel towards the ceiling. It actually lengthens in through the calf as well, so you're getting a nice little calf stretch there. Definitely feeling this one in the back of my hamstring. Okay, you can even flex a point. Get a little bit of the front of your shin here, stretching that out. Okay, let's take that leg, and you're slowly letting it fall across the body just like we did with the other one. And again, now my left shoulder blade is staying on the ground, stretching through that torso there. Deep breath in through the nose. Try to focus on that seven seconds of breath in. And a nice slow seven seconds of exhaling. Smell the roses. Blow out the candles. Good. Okay, let's sweep that leg down. Now, stay lying on your back. I want you to go ahead and put your feet together. We're going to actually let the knees fall out to each side here. Okay, I'm just stretching it through the groin a bit. You can rock this back gently, just side to side. Okay. If you want to increase the stretch a bit, you can put a little bit of pressure with your hands onto your thighs. I'm just gently rocking it side to side. That's it. Now go ahead and bring the knees together and grab your legs. And you're just going to do little circles on the back there. And just stretching into that lower back a bit those knees right close to the chest here and then side to side circles here good okay 
I want you to roll over onto your side. And we're go I'm gonna go ahead and grab our shoelaces so you can support your head with your hands. Let's do a nice little quad stretch here. So I'm bringing my shoe or my foot right to my bottom. Try to push your knees closer together and your goal is to push your hip flexor away from you, okay? So towards me, away from you. Push your hip forward. Good. Sometimes what I like to do is take my foot and just anchor it back down into the ground. Okay, I release my hand and now I just feel like I can open up into my quad a little bit more there. I feel a little bit of IT band when I anchor my foot down there. If you can't get that, that's fine. Just keep holding your, your uh, foot or your shoe, okay? Good. All right, let's switch sides. And support your head with your hands. Go ahead and grab your foot. And I'm gonna anchor mine down into the ground there and push my hip up and away. That does feel really good. You can even lie back just to increase the stretch on that. Remember to breathe, deep breath in through the nose, slow exhale. Excellent, all right. Let's move over to a little cat and cow. Come onto your hands and knees. You're gonna round up through the back. Just try to separate the shoulder blades here. All right, just really try to bring the upper spine up to the ceiling. And now we're going to exhale, lift the chin up, arch the back. Okay, we're gonna do that a couple times. Breathe in, inhale. Round up, stretch up here, exhale, arch your back, lift the chin. One more time, breathe in, round up, and exhale, lift the chin. Let's get right down into child's pose here, okay? Open up those legs. Let's press the chest toward the ground. And I just want you to camp out here for 15 seconds. Head down. Deep breath in through the nose, slow exhale. Push the chest to the ground, a little bit more there. Slowly round up through the back. Okay, just walk your knees in, but I want you to bring that hand under and tuck right here and go ahead and lie down, working and stretching that back shoulder. Good, just relax there. Just breathe into the stretch. So as you inhale and then as you exhale, lean into the stretch a little bit deeper. Good, let's switch sides here. Okay, tuck that arm under and hold that stretch there. Good, okay, back up to all fours. You're gonna come into a little crouch position here. Okay, so just, well, face forward here so you can see. We're gonna get into, onto all fours right here. I want you to place your elbow against each leg and open up into the groin, okay? So I'm pushing backwards on that leg and giving my groin a bit of a stretch there. Bringing my heels close together and toes facing out. Just kind of rock in this position here a little bit. That's a good stretch for your calf as well. So you can try and push your heel down to the ground. Good. I want you to very slowly stand. Try to keep your hands on the ground and stretching in through those hamstrings there. Go ahead and walk your feet together. Let's 
said. Now, I want you to go ahead and tuck your hands underneath your feet there. Straighten your legs, but don't lock your knees out. They're still soft, okay? Nice and soft there. Just stretching through the back of it and the back of the leg as well. All right, just release. I want you to round up one vertebrae at a time. Here we go. Deep breath in. That's it. Let's take a deep breath in with our hands. Reach up to the ceiling. Exhale, roll the wrist, stretch it down. Thank you so much for joining me on that stretch and for joining us on our wellness week. We're gonna finish with one of our wellness tips being stress. How to deal with stress. What are some strategies that we can implement starting today that help us de-stress a little bit? And that's coming up right now. So do you feel like you have a lot of stress in your life or are there moments that rise that just ugh, get to you? You feel totally stressed out. You're trying to do everything at once. You're burning the candle at both ends. It doesn't happen maybe regularly, but you have enough of those times where you need some new strategies on dealing with stress. Well, that's what this chat is all about. Let's talk about some strategies about what we can do when we're feeling the pressure and the stresses of life. I really think the number one thing to do is to identify why you're feeling stressed. What is going on? What's the situation? What's the scenario? Is it going to be long lasting? Is it short term? What are the things in your life that are causing you to feel that intense stress? Sometimes I will wake up in the morning and I'll feel like something's not quite right. You know, it's kind of like a little niggling in your heart or inside you. And then I have to think, what is it that's causing me this anxiety? Oh, right. I was supposed to file my GST. I haven't done it yet. I've been putting it off that causes me stress. So it could be that there's a bunch of little things that are causing all these little low levels of anxiety, low levels of stress, but over time that kind of breaks down the body and it adds up to become sometimes bigger stresses than had we just taken care of it in the first place. So after we identify what it is that's causing us stress, then I think it's really enacting a strategy to help deal with that stress. So like I said, if it's little things that are just really tasks that need to be checked off your list so that you don't have to think about them anymore, then do that. Make the list of the things that you feel are causing you stress and begin to check those things off one at a time. My one client has an ongoing list that she will check off the one thing and then move everything up one until they're all checked off. And then at the end of the day, she feels restful and peaceful and she doesn't have those things on her mind going into her nighttime. Sometimes they're big stressors though, right? Sometimes it's like, I don't know if we're gonna have enough money to pay for my child's sports that they wanna to go to and they really wanna go and I don't want them to feel left out and what if I don't have enough money to buy anything for Christmas this year? What if I can't provide my children with healthy food because I can't afford it because I just lost my job? Like Those are big stressors. So those also need a plan and a strategy to deal with them. The big stressors in life, relationships, job, vocation, health, those can cause really big anxiety and stress feelings inside of us. But dealing with them is no different than dealing with the little stressors, right? We still need a strategy, we still need a plan, we still need to look at the thing that's causing us to stress out and begin to say, okay, how can I break this down or chunk this down into manageable tasks that will help me alleviate this stress? So if one of the big stressors is you think you might lose your job, then the tasks for the next day become, okay, let me do a little research on how to put together a really great resume. Let me take a course on learning a new trade or skill that might enable me to get a job that I actually really love and want. Let me set up an appointment with my current boss to see if there's any way that we can salvage the job. I think it's really important that we chunk it down into manageable tasks to help us alleviate those stresses. When we feel like we're moving forward with something and we're actually accomplishing something, we can again take that off our list and we don't have to worry about it anymore. The reason why I talked about emotional intelligence this week, and go ahead and click the card at the top of the screen there if you missed that talk, was because it's so critical to understand yourself, to really be aware of those negative emotions or intense emotions when they come, and to understand how to deal with them, how to move forward and work through them. I think that's a big part of eliminating stress or working with stress in your life is understanding how you respond to certain things and making sure that your responses are healthy. So to sum it up, make sure you understand what the triggers are, things that are stressing you out, 
Write them down, recognize them, know when they're gonna come. Number two, create a strategy for moving through those things. Chuck it down on a to-do list so you can tick those things off at the end of the day to alleviate some of those additional stresses. And number three, make sure you have a great plan for self-care. And that should probably include moving daily in your exercise as well. We all have stresses. They come in different seasons in our life. Sometimes they're really big, sometimes they're really small. You know, when they get to be teenagers, they're really, really big. Just kidding, no, my kids are great. Being kind to yourself in the middle of those seasons and understanding that they're gonna pass. You know what, the intensity of this stress isn't gonna be as intense next year this time. So remember that, keep hopeful, and be compassionate to yourself along the way. All right, thanks for a fantastic week. Again, if you've missed any of our wellness tips or wellness workouts, click or tap the screen right here for that whole playlist. And I look forward to bringing you more fitness, wellness, and nutrition in the future.